Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Make It, where you can watch a dentist try and make his projects come to life. What you're seeing here is my pegboard, which is what I use to store all my most frequently used items during projects, whether that be electrical wire, screwdriver sets, or even my 3D printing nozzle. And so, in this video, I'm going to be sharing how I made this custom 3D printed headphone mount so that I can store my headphones on my pegboard when they're not being used. I had a look online and there were many, many designs that were quite a lot better than this one, but I wanted to have a go at making this myself just so that I can get some reps in and get better at 3D modeling. So with that in mind, let's jump in. All right guys, so here we are in front of the board and there's a few key measurements we need from here before we can move on. So firstly, if you take any one of these holes, we first need the height, the width, the thickness of the board and also the distance between two holes so that we can make the hooks equally spaced and correctly spaced. So in order to take these measurements, the best tool we have at our disposal is a set of calipers. Nice, easy to use and accurate. So we're just going to go ahead and take some measurements now. And the second set of measurements we need guys are for the headphones themselves. So these are my Sony headphones that I've had for years and this is what I'm making the mount for. I should probably upgrade to some wireless ones at some point, but for now we'll, we'll carry on. So for this there's really just two or three measurements we need. Firstly, we need to measure the distance of this sort of radius here so that we can decide how wide we want to make the mount for these to hook onto. So for that, we're just going to use a ruler. Give or take about 10, 10 and a half centimeters. So that's fine. And then secondly, we want to measure the thickness of this bit of plastic. So we know how far the mount needs to come out from the pegboard. So I'm calling that about 24.25, which is fine. So the way I'm going to make the mount is so that I can obviously hook the headphones up, but also somewhere to coil coil the wire as well so that it doesn't look too messy. So that's fairly straightforward. Now that we've got these me measurements ready, we can go into Fusion 360 and upload some parameters and go from there. So over in Fusion 360, we're going to start by uploading those parameters or those measurements as parameters. This is so that in the future, if we need to make any adjustments rather than changing the model bit by bit, we can change these parameters and then the model will reflect the changes. So I'm going to go ahead and add them. It doesn't really matter what you call them. I'll just call them something mildly descriptive so I know exactly what I'm referring to. So let's go and do that. Lovely. Now with those parameters added, the first thing I'm going to do is start by modeling the hooks to go into the board. For this, I think I'm going to be using two hooks to mount the headphone mount, just so we have extra stability. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. So here's our first finished hook and we can put this away for the time being and start a new component because at the end what we're going to do once we've made the actual headphone mount we're just going to go ahead and attach these on and then decide exactly how we want this to fix into the mount. I don't really fancy printing all this as one piece, it's quite a, you'll probably end up needing quite a bit of support material so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the actual headphone mount now. That is pretty much the mount finished. I'm pretty happy with the way that's turned out, but at this point, I usually like to take a step back and ask myself, where can any material be saved? And this plate over here, this part here, I think we can have a little cutout 
almost like a little inner silhouette of this shape here that'll actually look quite nice but also it'll save a little bit of material so I'm just going to see if I can do that let's have a go I'm not feeling it right so we're going to stick with this for the time being so we're going to go ahead and do a couple of test prints firstly to check whether our little hooks fit onto our pegboard properly but also whether to make to make sure whether they fit into this into these cutouts as well so let's go ahead and get that prepared all right guys so here we are in Prusa slicer with everything ready to go so we're going to print for the time being we're just going to print one hook we don't need to just in case we need to go ahead and model something again and i'm going to go ahead and cut this model down to quite a lot actually so down to We'll reduce the Z height by that. We don't need that for the time being. And then also, I'm going to trim it in the X plane. If I can just get this going. So if we go to 90, and I'm going to trim that up to about there. Again, at the minute, we don't really need. We don't need all the material around it just because we just want to make sure at this point that everything is fitting properly so just cutting a lot of the material out for the time being and then we can do a little bit more that's, that should be fine and then we can get rid of one of these hooks so that is those are the test prints so we're going to print to check that the hook fits into the pegboard and also this attachment part of the hook fits into this part and then once we've got that confirmed we can go ahead and get things printed out. So I'm going to go ahead and get those sent off to the printers now. Right guys, so here are the test prints all done and dusted. Let's go ahead and get these off the plate and then we can see what the fit is like. So this is a cutout from what's eventually going to be the whole mount. I've just trimmed a few bits off there to save on material. And then this is obviously the hook. So first things first, let's make sure this fits in properly. Yeah, it's a decent fit, I would say possibly a bit loose, possibly. So I'll probably adjust the tolerances on that a little bit, but it's not too bad, it's not too bad. Now I'm just gonna go and check that this hook fits onto the pegboard and then we should be on to a winner. Alright guys, moment of truth, let's see whether our hook that we model fits. Lovely. That's a lovely fit. Perfect. So it slots in nicely. And then when you push it down, it's got a nice snug fit to the back of the board. That, that's really good, I'm happy with that. Perfect. So I'm going to tighten up the tolerance on the mounting part. So the bit that goes on over there just so it's got a little bit more grip and then I think we should be ready to print. So we're making good progress, let's press on. So I've tightened up the tolerances on these little grooves just so that the hook sits in there a little bit tighter. Other than that, I think we're ready to go. So the way this is gonna go together is we're gonna print the mounting part and the two hooks separately and then we're gonna use just a little bit of super glue here to fix these in and then I think that should go well. Here's where the wire is going to coil around just so it's all out of the way and i think after that we're on to a really nice design so i'm going to go ahead and get these sliced up and let's go ahead and pick some nice filaments to get this printed in so here's everything ready in prusa slicer and according to this using input shaper it's going to take an hour and 25 minutes which isn't too bad now all i've got to do is pick a nice filament for this um i'm thinking black because that will match the pegboard and to be honest, the hooks won't be visible much anyway, so I think we're going to go for black, a nice matte black here. So let's go ahead and get this printing. Prints are all done. Let's have a look and see what we've got to work with here. Good, that looks nice. And then over here we have our hooks. So let's see how everything is fitting together. Good. Oh, this is a nice snug fit. Perfect. So I think the tolerances could have been a little bit better still. Still a little bit on the loose side, but I think we're good to go for the time being. So 
I'm going to go ahead and use, like I said, a little bit of super glue just to get these fixed and then we can pop this onto the pegboard and fingers crossed it all works. A couple of changes that I made to the print after, or the model rather, the little protrusion that I designed for the wire to coil around, I made it a bit longer and then I gave it this little, this little angle at the end here just to prevent the wire from coming off so hopefully that works well. But uh, let's go ahead and get this glued on. So I finished gluing everything on and those two oh, I'm applying a little bit of pressure there they're firmly on a little bit of extra glue came out there but that's nothing to worry about so let's go ahead and get this put up on the pegboard And that brings us to the end of this project guys. All in all, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. It looks good. I'm able to store my headphones in a way that keeps them nice and tidy. And it makes a nice addition to my pegboard. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave some comments down below. I'll leave some links to similar projects that I've made in the past for you guys to go and check out. And I'll see you all next time.